Uh, today in Masha but the night. What a beautiful day to be alive. It's about a quarter to ten in Abaco on the only, only public beach in my birthplace of Abaco in the capital city of Marshaba. Only beach that they can't get it together. Uh, the sun is out today. First time we see in the color of the water and it was not milk white. Two weeks you couldn't see that greenery, that turquoise, aquamarine, you couldn't see that. There's Eastern Shore going up there, that's where they had the double gate. That's to keep us out. But it's a beautiful thing that the wind is not up so much today. At the crossing in Abaco that you can do a video. And tonight is a special night. Our coalition of independence is here. And Kai shall be getting nominated as the candidate tonight. And one of my issues is the trailer park where you have hundreds of people living, including the Marshall Police, they are living in there. And the government has already given them a get out of town date which was October 31st, and we had three member of parliament. One of them was the minister that said they have to get up there, and they don't care where the hell they go. And I look at this place. These are people that have money. Whenever you could come from all over and build a condominium, and five years later, these are the people that have that money, should have that insurance. They haven't fixed the roof. How can people that didn't have no property were paying rent hardly get paid for grocery because the government put the price up for everything. Bread, item, item become luxury item. Uh, no more grass root. The grass has already died. There's just the roots. And they still PLP. And look what's happening here at the conk at the uh, Pelican Beach condos. These people, we know that they have money. We know they had money. And they have not secured their property five years later. And they have property. They have a building. And they haven't moved one step five years later. And the government want people that people give monies to build 65 homes according to Darren Henfield and then they get 6.5 close to 7 million for the domes in Spring City they spent a million dollars 6 million have disappeared and the government is racist enough to tell these people that they have a deadline and what was irritating to me when I saw John Pinder and Kirk Corners there is that the Haitians live in the mud in the peace for 40 years under four prime ministers and neither one of them had a due date to come out the mud in the peace and they weren't even bohemian citizens they were not even legal to be in this country and they were living on government land and renting it and not one government evacuate order in 40 years. No move for Kai. I can have straight that out for you. Because Kai still cares. That's why he's here. On the night of November, where the rich people haven't come back to normalcy, how can the poor people do it? 